Hi all, welcome to Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Neetu Rahul. Today we are going to discuss about static error constants. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's move to the video. Static error constant. The value of steady state error that depends on the type number and the input signal. So we know that we are having different types of input signal. That is we have step, step signal, then ramp and parabolic and a lot of different other types of signals are there. Today we are going to consider about these three that is step, ramp and parabolic. So the static error constant that depends on the that steady state error value that depends on these three input signal and the type number. So we know that we are having different types that is type 0 type 1 and type 2. So type 0 means we have a constant steady state error when the input is step, step signal. When our input is step signal and we are having a constant steady state error that is that comes under type 0 category. Next is type 1 means we have a constant steady state error when the input is ramp. When the input is ramp that comes under type 1 category. And type 2 means we have a steady, we have a constant steady state error when the input is parabolic. So that comes under type 2 category. So we can tell that type 0, type 1, type 2. According to this static error constant we can tell. That static error constant means it is Kp, Kv and Ka. So Kp is positional error constant which is denoted as Kp is equal to limit S tends to 0 G of S into H of S. Then velocity error constant means kv is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into g of s h of s. And acceleration error constant which is denoted as ka which is equal to limit s tends to 0 s square into g of s h of s. So the steady state error when the input is unit step that is called positional error constant and if we take ram signal it is velocity error constant and if we consider a parabolic signal it we will get acceleration error constant so <coughs> according to these equations kp kv and ka we can find the static error constant so these kp kv ka that is positional error constant velocity error constant and acceleration error constant is together known as static error constant uh, so hope uh, this is uh, clear for everyone if uh, this is clear means in the next upcoming videos we will be solving problems related to static error constant uh, if you find this useful Please consider subscribing and share it with others. Thank you.